What is going on, you guys? It is Baxter. And we are back with some more One Piece. 1,105. But before we get into that, guys, if you want to see my raw, uncut, full video, full audio of my reactions, go to the Patreon. As well, if you guys would like to see old episodes I've done, it doesn't even necessarily have to be One Piece, posted on Patreon with the full video and full audio, go to the Patreon suggestions channel in my Discord, post it there, and me and Zed can get that up as soon as possible for you guys. Just let me know. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm at 30, almost at 31K now. I was saying before, everyone gets their first plaque at 100K, I think. But I just want to see that 50K, the big 5-0. I just want to see 50K. That'd be awesome. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Mine was pretty decent. Been a while since, uh, since I've actually, I guess, spoken about my weekend. So, yeah, like, it's been a while since I've done a story time. This past weekend, Friday night, I ended up uh, getting a couple beers. I was feeling just, like, kind of bored and, like, wanted to go out, right? I messaged this chick, and uh, I ended up going to pick her up, and then we ended up going to the bar. And it's one of those, it's one of those places where you walk in the door, and half of it is a bar, and the other half is a club. I spent too much money. I went to the ATM. I took out 160 bucks right away. That's too much to be taken out at a bar and just buying drinks, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a nice guy, but I'm very generous to the point where it's almost, I'm like too generous. I'm the guy that will go up to the bar, get myself a drink, but I'll look to my left, look to my right. I don't even know you, but I'll look over. Hey, you having a good time? You want a drink? Let's get a drink. And I'll just buy random people drinks just to like have a good time and whatever, whatever, right? I woke up the next day. I had $27 in change. I had a $5 bill and the rest was just change from the change that I got from all the like, oh my God, man, I felt... But uh, yeah, so we were having a good time. At the end of the night, so this is like almost last call. Like there may be 30 people left in the bar. Like everyone's kind of walking out. And I'm about to walk out. This random chick comes up to me out of nowhere. She comes up to me and she's like, hey, are you single? And I'm like, yeah. I don't know how it happened. Like she approached me and asked if I was single. And I said, yeah. Within like, I don't know, what, 15 seconds later, this chick takes her arms and puts them around like my shoulders and my neck. And we just start making out on the dance floor, okay? The chick that I'm with, we're, the chick that I, I messaged, like we're not together at all. So she knows the deal. She knows what's up. Whenever anything happens, when we're at the club, it, it doesn't matter, right? So I'm and I'm making out with this chick. Like last call, the dance floor is like empty, and the chick that I came with is just standing against the bar. And then after that happens, she hands me her cell phone to put for me to type in my number in her phone. My mind is blown because girls, women, they don't approach dudes. I can count on two hands that that has happened to me in my entire life. Like, honestly, uh, maybe even one hand. Five times, maybe. Honestly. But she says, oh, like, I was with my friend. Like, I saw you. This is what she says to me, okay? She's like, I saw you. Thought you were really hot. But my friends, and I, whether this really happened or not, whatever. This is just what she said to me. Is she was there with a couple of her friends. They left to go somewhere else. And then she told her friends, no, I need to go back to this place and get this guy's number because like, I think he's really hot, whatever, whatever. I put my number in, she ends up walking out and uh, she was like, we were messaging like throughout the night and like, she's trying to like chill at like four o'clock in the fucking morning. It's like, uh, as much as I want to, uh, I can't do that because it's fucking late. And then the chick that I came here, that I went there with, like we came back to my house, right? So it's whatever. The chick I'm with, cool with it, like whatever, who cares, right? So then we're walking out and one of the first things that we see is this chick within the first couple seconds I walk out. First thing we see is this chick in front of this dude just talking mad shit, mad shit to this guy. Pointing at his, like pointing at him, like just talking mad shit, right? So she's pointing at him, yelling. She pushes him in the chest to the point where it was a decent push. Like he took a couple steps back, kind of stumbled a little bit, right? She starts talking even more shit. And I don't know if these guys are together or if they met that night or if it just something happened. And this chick just cocks back, open hand, slaps this dude in the face. 
right? And this guy's pretty, looks like a pretty solid fucking dude. Slaps him in the face. And it probably took him about five seconds to think about what he was about to do next. This guy came to the decision where this guy cocks back, closed fist, and just clocks this chick. Like, it was hard, man, to the point where she was knocked out, standing up, stiff as a board, and just falls backwards. And... Like, this chick was knocked the f*** out. And her friends come up and start talking shit to this dude. Like, why the fuck you punching my friend? You don't punch a girl. Da-da-da-da-da. And going off, right? And the bouncer's sitting there like this. People are standing around. Can't believe what just happened, right? But in today's day and age, maybe you shouldn't hit a woman. Whatever. But in this situation, man, equal rights equals equal lefts, guys. Because there's some point, like, I wouldn't have done it because it wouldn't have escalated to that point. For me, if this chick started talking shit to me, before she even pushed, like, in my head, I'm thinking, if that was me, I wouldn't have even let it get to that position in the fir- and to that point in the first place. I would have said, you're not worth my time. I'm going to walk away now. I don't know, even the bouncer's sitting there, no one's doing anything. Because, let's be realistic here, guys. She assaulted him, and at that point, it's fair game. So that was, uh, that was pretty interesting to see. Like, I'm sitting there losing my shit. Like, holy fucking, I'm like over half in the bag at this point. So I'm like, oh man, this is fucking nuts. There's a bunch of these black bottles, and I'm thinking, I'm already about to say, hey, I'm not a wine drinker. It's black vodka. Can I get your number and maybe we can hang out sometime, right? She's like, I'm on the job right now. I'll get in trouble. But I can give you my Insta. That was my weekend, guys. And now we got One Piece. And then we got Demon Slayer in three hours and ten minutes. Sundays are about to be lit. One Piece, 1,105. Okay, so Stussy. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. People were saying that, I mean, she's a clone. Yeah, Stussy, that used to be part of the Rocks Pirates. That is Weevil's mom. So, apparently, she's, long story short, basically a clone of her. That was part of the Rocks Pirates. So, I guess she must have had these type of vampire powers in the past. I don't fucking know. But that's how she's... Like when it says a clone. And then, okay, so now they're trying to... So she, yeah, so she put down Kaku and Luchi. And now that I think about it, I mean, it seems pretty obvious now, is that she was the one on the phone talking to Vegapunk in the first place. So they're all trying to leave the island. Kizaru's on his way there. All of that being said, guys. So yeah, I didn't know if... like I, I, just, I just had to mention that. That she was like a, like a clone of Weevil's mom, I guess. One piece, 1,105. Let's go. Three, two, one. Um, oh, yeah. Also, if you... Okay, so we started uh, live streaming. My league started live stream. I, I mentioned this in the past, I'm pretty sure. But um, our league is live streaming the games now. Um, so if you guys search up shootout basketball league on YouTube, that's the, the name of my league. And that's also the YouTube channel where you can go and watch the games play. Um, also, uh, Zed, Zed proposed the idea to me. That's, I mean, a pretty good idea is we're going to add a basketball channel in my discord so that you guys can like you know talk to each other and if you end up watching the game you can talk to each other and just kind of you know talk about the game as well as um if it, i mean you can talk shit about like if i end up crossing somebody over you can go in this and they fall over and shit you can go on the discord channel and talk shit you know <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're going to do that. So starting next week, guys, um, I'll let you know the times of the game because there's six teams in the league, and so three different times for games. So I'll let you guys know um, what time I'm playing at so that if you guys feel like watching, um, if you feel like watching me play ball, we, you, can, uh, you can do that.
All right, I heard Stussy in there. Holy fuck, that's loud. <laughs> Is he going to ask to see her panties? <laughs> Twenty years. Oh my! What did she do within that twenty years? Things that she probably didn't want to do, but had to stay undercover. Twenty years. Let's go! Zoro! Yes! Yes, let's see it! Yup! Yup! Look at that animation! Yup! Zoro! <laughs> yeah, we can't get enough of Zoro! Let's go! The music! Whoa! 
Look at that fucking animation, man. Oh, look at that. You're more human than he is. Let's see more. Did Brooke stop it? <laughs> Frankie! Nice! Brooke! Zoro! Yep! Oh, yeah, right. But just stop lagging! Stop being. Directionally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is Sanji like gonna get a chick by the end of the series? Is he gonna find a woman like after he finds the all blue? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Sphinx in the New World. Whitebeard's hometown. Whitebeard's treasure. <laughs> oh, f holy shit. I thought they were just going to start blasting people. No way. No, no way. Somebody needs to step in here. That's her. No way! No way! Edward Weevil.
のでかい人が来てくれなかったらこの村はもう<laughs> Holy fuck! Revo got kidnapped. Miss Buckin, freeloader at Mad, self proclaimed scientist, ex Rocks Pirates member. Ha! <laughs> self proclaimed scientist. Freeloader at Matt. All right, seventeen forty-eight. Three, two, one. Okay. Yep. Real name. Okay. So Stussy is a clone of this chick. Me and Newgate's son. Oh, Kizaru. Are they going to show up this episode? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. you something Holy shit. He betrayed you people. <laughs> Holy shit. Saint Je Saint I can't even talk. I can't even read. Saint J J Garcia Saturn of the five Elders, highest authorities in the world. <laughs> Holy shit. J. Garcia Saturn. Oh my God. Whoa, this is a, <sighs> saying a big deal is an understatement. <laughs> an elder. And look at his name, Saturn. I wouldn't be surprised if the other um, elders are 
named after planets as well. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh my god. So why is he coming? Like what? I he, I would think Kizaru's enough to go to Egghead and Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, 2001. Okay. 3 2 1 No fucking way, man. We just got to see him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is the first time we've seen one of the elders not sitting in that room. Actually making moves. Oh my god. So this is <laughs> this is what you guys mean when it's like, "Oh, just wait, just wait." Like peak is coming. Peak is coming. Are you fucking for real? That's how serious this is. That an elder is coming. I mean, what's he what's he going to do? Like That is fucking crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Luffy is looking for Vegapunk, right? Vegapunk is with Jewelry Bonnie looking at Kuma's paw. Kizaru is on his way there with fucking Saturn. Um, and everybody else is having the conversation with Stussy. And Stussy is a clone of, what's her name? Like, holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> holy shit, man. The elders, even the elders are making moves right now. That's... Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.